The story introduces us to Garfield, a charismatic, fluffy and very fat ginger cat. A few years ago he was adopted by a guy named John and since then they have a special place in each other's lives. On an early Monday morning, Garfield wakes up to the sound of an alarm clock. He asks his toy Mickey to cover him while he goes on a mission. The cat must wake John up so that he can fulfill his main duties and feed his furry pet to its fullest. The owner does not want to wake up, and then Garfield jumps on him from the cupboard. After an abrupt awakening, John goes to the shower and sings songs there, but the cat thinks that John is already clean enough. He flushes the toilet, which causes hot water to pour in the shower, and the guy has to finish the water procedures. In the kitchen, John gives Garfield liver-flavored canned food, but the cat does not like such food, so he exchanges plates with the owner while he leaves to get a fork. As a result, John feels nauseous, and the satisfied cat indulges himself with delicious food. Garfield goes outside and watches the milkman with his friend, Siamese cat Nermal. Nermal is craving milk and invites Garfield to follow the milkman's car, but the lazy cat doesn't want to leave his cozy territory. Instead, he takes advantage of the cat's cunning and incites Nermal to play astronaut at a neighbor's house. While he climbs into the bucket, Garfield pulls the rope, after which the milk from the bottle pours directly into the mouth of the ginger cat. Having received the bounty, he releases the rope and naive Nermal falls to the ground. On the other side of the street, Garfield spots an apple pie and decides to continue the food tour of the neighborhood. Doberman Luca comes out to meet him and tells the cat to get out of his territory. But it's not the first time that Garfield has deceived the dog, and this time he entangles the dog's chain around the garden gnomes. The cat dances a victory dance and steals the apple pie, ignoring Luca's threats. Satisfied, Garfield lays down on the work table next to John. Suddenly, the guy notices a mouse on the floor and orders the cat to catch it. Garfield refuses and makes it clear that he is not going to waste time on this. But, having seen the ridiculous attempts of the owner to catch the pest, the cat still goes to deal with it. It turns out that Garfield and the mouse, named Louise, are old acquaintances. Louise smelled John's hazelnut biscuits and couldn't resist the temptation to break into the house. To calm the owner, Garfield showy eats the mouse in front of John's eyes. When the happy guy goes back to the house, the cat spits out Louise and orders him to hide somewhere so as not to catch John's eyes again. At home, Garfield climbs into his favorite chair in front of the TV, where Happy Chapman's entertainment show dedicated to the picky cat is shown. In reality, Happy hates cats and is severely allergic to them. The man participates in the show to become famous and more successful than his twin brother Walter, who hosts the news program. Happy's assistant informs him that Central Television needs a doggy number to launch a new show. Finally, the showman has an opportunity to become famous, he just needs to find a talented dog. John returns home to find that Garfield has eaten four boxes of lasagna and is now sprawled out on the floor. John decides to take the cat to the veterinary clinic where his friend Liz works. Garfield guesses that the owner takes him to the vet so often, because he has been secretly in love with the girl for a long time. At the appointment, Liz does not notice any abnormalities in the cat, and sends him to the spa treatments for animals. Left alone with John, the girl shyly says that she wants to ask for something. The happy guy decides that she wants to ask him to go on a date and is already ready to confess his feelings to the girl. But instead, Liz asks John to adopt a homeless dog named Odie to surround him with human love and care. The confused guy agrees to take the puppy and puts him in the car in Garfield's place. Liz tells the guy that she will visit Odie and now they can see each other and go out more often. Leaving the clinic, a shocked Garfield notices a dog in his place and tries to get John to drive the uninvited guest away, but he does not pay any attention to the cat's indignation. Upon arrival, John introduces Odie to his new home, which greatly annoys Garfield. But he is sure that soon the owner will understand who his real favorite is and get rid of the stupid dog. Garfield tries not to notice Odie, but the playful dog sticks his muzzle everywhere and tries to attract the attention of a new friend. To take his mind off his annoying neighbor, Garfield decides to watch TV. But as he goes to the console, Odie sits in his favorite chair. Angry at such impudence, Garfield launches his claws at the dog and drives him off the couch. Later, the cat and the dog meet again on the street. Garfield wants to teach Odie a lesson and invites him to play astronaut. While he is demonstrating how to play the game, Odie pulls the rope and the cat flies up into the sky. Garfield lands on the ground and the bucket falls on top of him. The neighbor's milk also flies up and enters the drainpipe, after which it flows directly to the top of the bucket. Odie decides to eat some milk and puts his paws on the bucket. The enraged cat manages to get out and starts chasing Odie. His path is blocked by Luca without a chain, who wants retribution for bullying. But Odie comes to the aid of Garfield and licks the Doberman, who changes his anger to mercy. At night, the dog climbs onto John's sofa, and he, despite Garfield's surprise, allows him to sleep with him. The cat's irritation with the annoying neighbor is growing every day. He justifies his title of a good boy, carries newspapers to John and behaves kindly. 
When Garfield decides to dance to Black Eyed Peas, Odie jumps into the chair next to him. The cat throws the dog several times on the floor, after which he throws a pillow at him. Then Garfield decides to challenge Odie to a dance battle, and he begins to repeat the movements after him. So they dance to the porch, where they are noticed by the cat's friends. To prevent other cats from thinking that he and Odie have become friends, he pushes the puppy away from him. Liz arrives at the house, and John and Odie drive off with her, leaving Garfield alone. Nermal tells his friend that this is a bad sign and the dog may become John's only pet. The selfish Garfield can't let that happen, so he catches up with the vet's car and somehow jumps inside. The company comes to a talent competition hosted by Happy Chapman. Liz leaves for the judge's box, while John sits on the podium with Odie to watch the show. Garfield wants to get the owner's attention and goes to the stage, but realizes too late that only dogs are participating in the contest. The contestants smell the cat and rush after him, disrupting the performance. As Garfield struggles to survive, music begins to play on the stage. Hearing a familiar song, Odie breaks free from John's arms and begins to dance, causing delight in those around him. Meanwhile, Garfield jumps under a woman's dress and with her help gets to the tent, but the dogs catch up with him there too. They surround him, but he diverts their attention to a non-existent postman and successfully escapes. Happy rewards Odie and offers to make him a TV star, but John refuses. They return home and at parting, Liz sets up a date for the guy. Garfield is upset and thinks that the owner no longer loves him and the annoying Odie is to blame for all this. Out of anger, he throws the dog's ball at the lamp, which leads to a whole series of destruction in the house. Upon entering the house, John sees Garfield in the middle of the mess and kicks him out to sleep outside as punishment. In the evening, the sad cat watches from the window as John takes care of Odie and has fun with him. Garfield meows a plaintive song about how good he used to be with his master and how unhappy he is now. Odie goes out to the cat and lies down next to him. But Garfield does not appreciate his kindness and runs back into the house, closing the front window behind him. Still, going to bed in his bed, the cat thinks about making peace with the dog the next day. A moped passes by in the street and Odie, following his instincts, runs after it. Once in the middle of an unfamiliar area, the puppy is lost and sits by the threshold of someone's house. An elderly woman finds him and takes him with her. In the morning, John tries to find Odie and realizes that he is missing. Garfield feels remorse for what he did, but thinks the dog will be back soon. In his office, Happy Chapman complains about not being able to find a talented dog on the show. His assistant notices an old lady's announcement that she has found Odie. They arrive at the specified address, deceive the gullible woman, and take the puppy with them. John puts up Odie's missing posters and calls the neighbors in an attempt to find out where his pet is. Liz comes to him for a promised date, which John had completely forgotten about. He is tormented by doubts, on the one hand, he wants to go with the girl and not upset her with the news of Odie's disappearance, and on the other hand, he must tell the truth. John chooses to tell the bitter truth and, against his fears, Liz offers to help him find the dog. Left alone in the house, Garfield watches TV. All channels show footage of dogs, which makes the cat feel even more guilty. He goes outside, where his friends meet him. They saw what Garfield did to Odie and accuse him of narcissism. Frustrated, the cat returns home to the TV. He sees Happy's show, in which he introduces a new member, Odie, to the audience. Seeing this, he tries to draw John's attention to the TV, but he arrives when the show has already ended. The assistant tells Happy that Odie is not yet ready for the show and needs training. But the leader decides to control the dog's actions with the help of an electric collar. Garfield decides to take the dog's rescue into his own paws. He takes out a box of cat food from a locker, which has a map of the telegraph tower on it. It is from there that Happy Chapman is broadcasting and the cat is going to go there. The fat cat is not used to traveling such long distances and gets tired quickly. He comes to a bus stop and gets on a bus that takes him to the big city. John calls Garfield for lasagna, but the cat doesn't respond. The guy understands that his pet is also gone, because he would never give up his favorite treat. The guy calls Liz and together they go in search of the cat. Meanwhile, Garfield finds himself in an empty alley where he is surrounded by a gang of very hungry rats. The cat is already preparing to say goodbye to life, but the mouse Louise comes to his aid. He disperses the rats, and Garfield in gratitude promises to supply him with nut cookies. Louise leads the cat to the telegraph tower and says that he will not go further with him. Garfield decides to climb inside the building through the ventilation so as not to intersect with people. Due to the heavy weight, the cat barely climbs up the shaft, and his movements are detected by the guards. Deciding it's garbage, the employees decide to air the system and the airflow blows Garfield away. Liz and John notice an announcement about Odie's find and drive to the old woman's house. She tells them that she gave Happy the dog because he is from TV and can be trusted. The couple realize that the host has kidnapped Odie and possibly Garfield. Meanwhile, the ginger cat finally finds Odie locked in a cage. He apologizes to the dog and says that he wants them to return home to John together. 
Garfield tries to open the cage, but Happy Chapman enters the office with an assistant, and the cat has to hide. The host tests a stun collar on Odie, and takes him away to take the train to New York with him. Horrified by Odie's mistreatment, Garfield follows them. After riding a tray down the stairs, the cat accidentally falls out of the window and into a life-saving van with lasagna. On the street he is grabbed and taken away by the animal control. In the shelter, he meets a cat named Sir Roland, the former star of the TV show Happy Chapman. The abandoned cat tells Garfield that the host got rid of him as soon as he was no longer needed for the show. Garfield tries to convince him that not all owners are bad and that as John loves and cares for his pets. He reveals to Sir Roland that he is going to save the puppy he was replaced with on the show. Other residents of the shelter are surprised that the cat wants to save the dog. Garfield realizes that this is unnatural, but admits to his cellmates and himself that Odie has become a true friend to him. At this moment, a family comes to the shelter to choose a kitten for their daughter. The girl chooses the happy Chapman's cat and he, taking advantage of the situation, presses the evacuation button, helping Garfield and the others escape. John and Liz make it to Happy's office. John notices Garfield's paw prints on the floor and realizes that his pet was here. The guard tells the couple that Chapman should be at the station by now. Garfield finds Chapman but fails to catch the train. Then the cunning cat comes up with the idea to stop the train with Odie. He sneaks into the control room and starts pulling various levers and pressing buttons. Everything leads to the fact that the trains change direction and are now moving towards each other. A second before the collision, Garfield finds the right button and returns the train back to the station. By this time, Liz and John also arrive at the station. Garfield frees Odie from his cage and the friends embrace, but their happy moment is interrupted by Happy Chapman, who overtakes the pets in the luggage compartment and intends to put a collar on Odie. Suddenly, animals from the shelter and the gang of rats come to the aid of friends. Under Garfield's clear direction, they attack Happy and place the collar around his neck. To avenge the bullying of a friend, Garfield presses the collar's remote control and sends a shock. Odie also presses the button to watch his tormentor jump. Finally, John and Liz find the pets, and the guy knocks Chapman out. Chapman's arrest is shown on the news. Garfield's friends learn that he helped save Odie and call him a hero. The reunited company returns home and John receives the long-awaited kiss from Liz. After some time, the whole family spends time watching a melodrama. Garfield was able to accept a new friend, but cannot deny himself the pleasure of pushing him from his favorite chair.